morning from day two in Chicago. We just left our hotel and we're walking down to Navy Pier. I think it's supposed to be like a half an hour walk or something. So it's nice to just see the city in the morning. We've got beautiful weather again. So the windy city is not that windy for us, which is very nice. Um, so we're going down to Navy Pier just to, you know, explore that area. And then we're gonna hop on a river cruise. I think it's called the Architectural River Cruise. It's been recommended to us by everyone we've talked to, like all of our Uber drivers and people we know who've been here really recommend it. So that's, I think that's gonna be a highlight of our trip. So we just pre-booked our river cruise. It was $43 US per person. Um, a little bit pricey, but they were in half an hour increments, so there was tons of different times when you could actually do the tour, which is nice. <laughs> Look at how calm the water is. This is like the perfect weather. Oddly, there's not a lot of people around here. I think that it'd be like swarming with tourists, but no, there is nobody. And it's like 11.30. This lake that Chicago is on is absolutely huge. It looks like the ocean, but it's not. It's just a lake. It is Lake Michigan. And yeah, you cannot see the other side. We're doing it. The first ever Ferris wheel in the world was built in Chicago and I think this is actually where it used to stand as well but it was taken down in like the 20s or something and replaced with this new one. That was neat. Um, it was $18 per person. I uh, went around three times, so yeah, it was nice and chill. And we got the entire little pod thing to ourselves with four people, so yeah, very nice. You could see the entire city, it was amazing. <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> Your choice. Yeah, near the front. Yeah. the river met the lake. Michigan Avenue is named such as it used to run right alongside Lake Michigan. All of the land east of that has been filled in with debris, mostly since the Great Chicago Fire. This bridge was the world's first double-decker drawbridge. As of this summer, it is 102 years old. 
straight ahead of us, you have the second tallest building on the Chicago skyline today, and that is the Trump International Hotel and Tower. This building is from 2009, designed by Adrian Smith. People always expect a super interesting story about that little footbridge, and you know what? It is a super interesting story. If you are interested in bank, branch, laws, you got people from the same bank working in both towers in order to be one. A 20-year-old named George Hallis was ticketed and supposed to be on board the Eastland. His body was never recovered and he was reported deceased in the papers. When a couple of his friends dropped by the house to pay their respects, they were very surprised when George himself answered the door. He said, oh no, I was going to be late so I didn't bother to show. At that time in 1930, this was the largest building on the planet in terms of square footage. The building is enormous. It has over 4.2 million square feet of space inside. We're just off the river cruise and we are joining the people who will highly recommend that tour. It was so much fun and the, um, the hostess was super, super good. She was so informative. She had so many funny stories. For people who are new to Chicago, who have never been here and have done minimal research on the place. It was really great to get some historical context on the city. It's just amazing how much history there is here and how many stories uh, she was able to tell just by talking about uh, the skyscrapers. Now we're heading back into Navy Pier. We're going to just kind of explore around a bit more because when we went through this morning everything was closed. <laughs> so we're going back through again and um, seeing everything when it's open. back to our hotel now and uh, we were just walking along the street and I realized that this is actually the Magnificent Mile. So one of the most iconic streets in Chicago. I think it's where like all the big brand name stores are. We're already seeing some amazing buildings. This is huge. Oh my goodness. This is like a museum. We are currently in the largest Starbucks in the world and it is truly massive.
This is the rooftop terrace of the Starbucks on the fifth floor. We're just ending our night here in front of the Chicago Theater. I know it's gonna look backwards to you guys, but um, yeah, we just thought we'd walk down this street at the end of the night. We just went for a dinner at um, Italy. It was absolutely fantastic. Like actually every meal here has been really, really good, but that one, ooh, that one was great. Um, and seeing the sign at night was one of the highlights that I really wanted to see. I had a picture of this um, on my phone background for like three months before coming on this trip. So um, I'm really excited to see this. It's just so, such an iconic, beautiful sign. Now that I'm here, I would love to actually go see a show in this theater because you can kind of see like inside the window and it just looks like a beautiful theater and I really wish I could go, but alas, I can't do everything. So yeah, we're just gonna head back to the hotel now and have um, a bit of an early night. It's only nine o'clock. Um, but yeah, and tomorrow we have another full day again, so stay tuned for that.